Hello, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are back with writing and solving two-step equations. We already know how to solve two-step equations, and we know how to write expressions, so we're going to put those things together uh, to write and solve two-step equations. An equation is just a, you know, a number sentence that says that two expressions are equal to each other, so we're going to build those, build that equation, build those two expressions, and then we're going to solve it. All right. In addition to all the all the words that we came up with for our operation symbols and our or, uh, our order of operation stuff, we also need to recognize keywords that go with the equal sign. Equal is equal to total, equivalent, solution, solve, are, was, has. But probably one of the ones that you'll see the most is the word is. You have a bunch of stuff is 12, or a bunch of stuff is 1,000. That word is is, uh, is your best clue that you need an equal sign. So let's get to it. Let's, let's try a few of these. Example 1. 1 more than 3 times a number is 10. So let's find our keywords. Is, that's a big deal. That means that's our equal sign. Okay, our other keywords for our operations, we have one more than. We know that's going to be plus. And what else do we have? Oh, we also have times. That's going to involve multiplication. I might, uh, you know, I might, give me a second. Let me, let me change that. I'm going to put my equal sign there more than I'm gonna put the plus symbol up there and then times right there other stuff we've got three which is three and we have a number which we'll use a variable see and this is why I don't like using the X for the time symbol because I like to use X for a variable I can use W but I'm gonna to have to go back and change instead of an X um, I'm gonna use well, I'll use the dot and of course we have the one over here. So really, um, really the uh, the equation kind of builds itself a lot of times. Although this three times w, I don't really want to use the dot either. I definitely don't want to use an x. So here's what it's going to look like um, when we write it. it. It's one more than, so you can do one plus. But for three times w, I think it's easier. It's going to make things easier if you just do 3w when they're right next to each other and there's no symbol it means to multiply so I think that's easiest and then is 10 oops forgot to circle my my 10 in green all right um, now if if I wanted to get real picky I might switch around the 3w and the 1 because it's 1 more than 3w but you know that addition is commutative and changing the order will not change the answer when you're adding so either way you're going to get the same solution for w from here we just need to solve w's on the left side two things are happening we're multiplying by three and we're adding one we're going to save the term with the variable for last so first we're going to get rid of the positive one how do we undo positive 1 with a negative 1? And what you do to one side, you must do to the other side. So on the left, we now have 3w, and on the right, 10 minus 1 is 9. And what's happening to w? We're multiplying by 3, so we're going to divide by 3. What you do to one side, do to the other side. Our solution, w is equal to to 3. So the solving is the same as it was when we talked about it earlier. Writing expressions is pretty much the same except we've added an equal sign that says that two expressions are equivalent to each other. Example 2, 19 is 4 more than 5 times a number. Oh, I've got this is here again. That's going to be an equals. What else? What other keywords do I have? Oh, I have more than. I have more than, and I have times. I have times again. 
I've got a 19. Oops, 19. I've got a 4. 4 more than 5 times. 5 times, and then a number. That's our variable. I'll put in a W. 19 is 4 more than 5 times a number. Okay, so 19 is uh, 5 times a number. Instead of using that dot, I'm just going to put the 5 and the W next to each other. And personally, I like when it's 4 more than, I like to be plus 4. But you could also do 4 plus 5W on the right side, and you're going to get the same answer. Then we solve. Opposite of adding 4 is subtracting 4. And those will cancel. So we get 15 is equal to 5w. Divide both sides by 5 and we get 3 is equal to w. Example 3. 4 less than the product of negative 4 and a number is 8. Okay, getting a little longer here. 4 less than the product of negative 4 and a number is 8. I like that is. I like that is. And then obviously the 8 is 8. Now let's look at the other part of it. What do we have here? We have, we have 4 less than. 4 less than. There's going to be a minus somewhere. Uh, product. Product means multiply. You put a times, we can put a minus up here. I might erase that for now. Product of negative 4 and a number. Okay, so 4 less, negative 4, and a number. Remember, we talked when we were writing expressions that you have to be very careful with subtraction and with division. It's 4 less than the product. That does not mean 4 minus the product. That product is going to come first. It's negative 4 and a number. And it's 4 less than that. So it's minus 4. Remember, if you have $10 and I have 4 less than you, how much money do I have? I have 6. You do 10 minus 4 to get that 6. You minus 4 because it's 4 less than. Please be careful with subtraction. And I'm going to rewrite that equals 8. But we know how to solve. Save the term with the variable for last. We're going to add 4 to both sides. And we get negative 4g is equal to 12. And we are multiplying by a negative 4, so we're going to divide by a negative 4. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. g is equal to negative 3. One more of these. Write and solve two-step equations. 6 plus the quotient of a number and 4 was negative 10. Was and is are pretty much the same thing. That's going to be an equals. Other keywords we have plus. We know that's add. We've got quotient. We know that's divide. Although I'll probably write it as a fraction instead of with that symbol. Negative 6 plus the quotient of a number and 4 was negative 10. So I've got a negative 6, I've got a number, I've got 4, and I've got negative 10. So was negative 10, that's the easy part. Negative 6 plus the quotient. Because it's plus the quotient and not just plus a number, that means I have to find that quotient first. Order of operations is going to have me uh, divide before I add anyway, so I think I'm going to be in good shape. The quotient of a number and 4, and it's negative 6, plus the quotient of a number and 4. Or you could even 
wouldn't it wouldn't change it because you're already going to be dividing first but you could put parentheses around there and I'm going to just move my equation over so it looks a little cleaner save the term with the variable for last I'm gonna add 6 to both sides on the left I'll have n over 4 and on the right side looks like the negatives are gonna win by 4 I'm dividing by 4 so I must undo by multiplying by 4 what you do to one side you must do to the other n is equal to negative 16 so we've taken a couple of things that we've already talked about and put them together you know how to solve two-step equations you know how to write expressions now you know how to write and solve a two-step equation whatever questions you have make sure you write them down come ready with them tomorrow we'll see you then